Were it left to me to decide whether we should have a government without newspapers, or newspapers without a government, I should not hesitate a moment to prefer the latter. Small robbers are put in prison, a great robber becomes a feudal lord, and in the gate of the feudal lord, your righteous scholars will be found. Government is not reason, it is not eloquence, it is force. Like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Gold is money of kings. Silver is money of gentlemen. Barter is money to the peasants, but debt is the money of slaves. The colonies would gladly have borne the little tax on tea and other matters had it not been that England took away from the colonies their money which created unemployment and dissatisfaction. The inability of colonists to get power to issue their own money permanently out of the hands of King George III and the international bankers was the prime cause of the revolution. A libertarian presidential candidate isn't going to win anyway, so he can afford to say that all taxation is theft, and it isn't the job of a libertarian presidential candidate to cook up new ways to commit theft. A system of capitalism presumes sound money, not fiat money manipulated by a central bank. Capitalism cherishes voluntary contracts and interest rates that are determined by savings, not credit creation by a central bank. Capitalism should not be condemned since we haven't had capitalism. Of course, I've already taken a very modest position on the monetary system. I do take the position that we should just end the Fed. Guns don't kill people, governments do. The answer to 1984 is 1776. Privacy is a cornerstone of freedom. Evil is never limited to a demographic. Adversity makes men, and prosperity makes monsters. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. People should always have the liberty to be potentially foolish, for without the political leeway to make mistakes, there can be no incentives from which to learn and to grow. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. As always, thank you for all of your prayers. I'm praying for all of you freedom lovers, people that love decency, creativity, and honor, and innocence. I'm here with you, you're with me, we're together in history, in this moment, and forever.